Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can create a subdomain specially for those who are using Cloudflare. I am using Namecheap Hosting. So here's the subdomain we created qr.heylet'slearnsomething.com. Let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. In order to create a subdomain, let's first open our website and let's learn something.com. So this is our website and we will be adding a subdomain to this site. This website is using Cloudflare SSL, as you can see here. If you want to use a free SSL, please check our other video. Anyway, to add the subdomain, let's log into the cPanel. Please note, you must own the domain name to create a subdomain. Enter the credentials. We have the two-factor authentication. So we are in the cPanel. Search for subdomains. Here is it. Click on it. Now add the subdomain name you want to add. Choose the domain name. You might have more if you have said hosting. This is the folder where you can keep all the files for your subdomain and click on create. So the subdomain has been successfully added. For those who are not using Cloudflare, the subdomain should be working after some time. It can however take up to 48 hours. If any problem persists, please ask your hosting. And for those who are using Cloudflare, the subdomain will not work unless we add some A record to Cloudflare. So for that, go to cloudflare.com. Enter the credentials. Find your domain name and click on it. And go to DNS. Now you need to add an A record. Click on add record. Make sure the type is A. Write the subdomain name you want to create. In our case, it's QR. For this IP address, you should find the IP on your cPanel. Most cPanel has the IP address on the right, something like this. This is another cPanel. I'm using an image. It's because most of the cPanel looks like this. If you still could not find the IP, please ask your host. Here's also another way of finding the IP address. It only works if you are using a shared hosting. Your IP address will be the same as a record with the domain name. Let me quickly add it, add it and save. So it's done. Now you'll have to wait for a while. Again, this can take up to 48 hours. So after this is done, you will have a new subdomain. You can create a completely new site. The folder location will be the one we specified earlier. Let me quickly try to check if the subdomain works or not in incognito mode. So it's not working. That means we'll have to wait some time to properly propagate. The other trick is you can check the subdomain via VPN or you can also go to gtmetrics.com and scan the website. As you can see, I am analyzing the subdomain. As you can see, it's not working here. As said earlier, you can also use VPN or dnschecker.org. Anyway, since the gtmetrics was able to scan it, the domain name is working on some parts of the world. So this only means you'll have to wait some time to see the subdomain work all around. Hope this lesson was useful. Thank you very much.